This presentation from Poultry Watering U presents an uncut, real-time video comparison of water volume delivered from drinkers using a static flow test versus using a dynamic flow test. All tests were performed with 50 centimeters or 20 inches of column pressure. To ensure useful data, the two drinkers are positioned adjacent to each other and are subjected to the same water column pressure. The test you are now seeing is a static flow rate test in which the drinker pin is pushed straight up and held in an open position for one minute. This test simulates the flow rate test that is often used in the poultry industry to evaluate a drinker's merit or as a tool for setting column pressure in the drinker line. The two drinkers labeled A and B are two different drinker models. You can clearly see that drinker B is discharging far more water than drinker A during the static flow rate test. After 60 seconds, both water vials are removed and the water discharged by drinkers A and B is measured. Drinker A has discharged approximately 35 milliliters, while drinker B has discharged over 70 milliliters, which is about twice as much. Now the testing equipment is being prepared for the dynamic flow rate test. Here, a platform is added to accommodate the shorter vials. Notice that we are still using the same two drinkers and the same column pressure as we used in the first static flow rate test. Now, the machine is switched into its side-to-side -side activation mode. And what we call the dynamic flow rate test is started. Here, the side-to-side -side activation is designed to resemble a real bird's drinking behavior, which is peck, release, peck, release. What is interesting to note is that drinker A is now discharging more water than drinker B. After one minute, drinker activation ceases. The water volumes in both vials are recorded. Drinker A discharged approximately 12 milliliters, while drinker B discharged less than 6 milliliters. And we can see the column pressure is 50 centimeters or 20 inches, the same pressure as in the first test. In the end, these results prove that a drinker model that discharges considerably more water in a static flow rate test can actually discharge far less water versus another drinker model when activated dynamically, a type of drinker action that far more closely resembles the manner in which a bird drinks. You can ask questions or make comments about these results by using the comments form at poultrywatering.com.